Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go through everything you need to know about the Duma OS 4 ad blocker built into the NetDuma R3, including adding your own custom list for more control. So when you're first going through the initial setup of your R3, you'll notice that ad blocking is turned off. Go ahead and turn it on, and once you make it to the main dashboard, you can scroll down to the ad blocker tab and give it a click. There's a lot going on here, but we're gonna start off with the top left-hand corner. We have the option to completely disable the ad blocker altogether on all devices. This is not recommended. We want ad and tracker blocking. It will actually speed up our network. For testing purposes, the better way to go about it is the next option over, which is the pause button. The pause button up top will pause all devices on your network all at once. Giving it a click, we have some time options. One minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30, and one hour. For testing, I normally stick with one or five, but I don't tend to use the pause button on all devices. If we scroll below here, you'll see we have each one of our devices and then next to that, how many things have been blocked on the device. So if we're looking at my phone, 212 things have been blocked. And next to that is a pause button. We'll get back to that here in a second. And then we have a whole bunch of dots. The smaller, less bright dots are things that have been blocked, but not as much. The bigger dots are things that have been blocked a lot. Going back to the pause option per device, if we look at my phone, we have the same time limits as before, but we also have a forever option, just in case we want to completely disable ad blocker just for that one device. Hey, we've also been to one of those pesky websites before that says, you got an ad blocker. Do you mind disabling it? Well, with Duma OS 4, this is incredibly easy. You come over to the device, such as your phone, and you choose a time limit or forever. Moving on, back up to the top, we can see how many queries have been blocked, how many have made it through. Then we have some time options for our graph down below, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, one hour, one day. So we click around and see some different stats depending on what's been going on recently. Moving over to the top right-hand corner, we have our three-dot drop-down menu. Giving it a click, our very first option is Resync Cloud. Every now and again, you may want to do this as NetDuma connects to a cloud service to keep everything up to date, including your ad blocker. Clicking away from that, we have our top block domains, shows you where everything's being blocked here. Right below that is ad blocker list tab. We'll look at that here in a minute. And below that is the last 30 minutes on the network. So you can see 7,333 and counting ads have been blocked. We've got 1,936 trackers that have been blocked and 411 things on my two custom lists. Scrolling below that, you can see each individual domain that's been blocked along with how many times. And if we give it a click, we can see even more details, what list it comes from, how many times it's been blocked, what time it was last blocked. Again, the list that it's coming from, but at the very bottom, if we know this is a domain that we want to have allowed, we can add it to allow list, which will unblock that said domain. Now there is a really neat tool out there. I'll have this link down below for you so you could just do your own testing. This shows how good your ad blocker results are. It, there are a couple things kind of not to worry about like your cosmetic filter stuff. And there are a couple domains that are just not worth blocking but you wanna get this as close to 100% as possible. Again, I'll have this link down below for you. Duma OS does a really good job, sits in the 70s of blocking, which is great. You can see I've got 150 things that I would like blocked, 110 of them are blocked, 40 are not, so it could use a little bit of work and that's why we would want to add our own list. Going back to the ad blocker page and the right-hand panel, we have the ad blockers list tab. Giving a click opens a sub menu where we have our block list, which things we want blocked, and an allow list, things we'd like allowed. Both lists have things added by NetDuma. So we've got our ads and tracking, cloud service from NetDuma. 
Same thing, oh, the allow list. We have an allow list from NetNuma. And then below that, we have a couple that I've added myself. This is a really easy process. I will walk you through it. But we're going to talk about it first. So the very first one I've called dirty block. I think you guys understand exactly what that's supposed to block. I got teenagers. That stuff is really easy to access these days. I want to make sure it's not so easy to access. I mean, you know, when I was young, you had to have a friend with an uncle. These days, you just hop on your phone. So I wanted those things blocked. The easiest way to do that is there are URL lists out there that have already been curated for you. You can use one of those lists. I will show you which list I use for both sets of blocking, including my quote unquote dirty block. Below that, I'm not going to try to pronounce this. Ag Agzi? Okay, I did. I tried to pronounce it. I'm not sure. But this guy has multiple lists that he's been curating for a long time, and they're really good. And so I use them on top of NetDuma's stuff. Now, generally speaking, it's not great to double up lists. You kind of want one. But recently, I've been doubling up the list. Two lists is fine. Don't really want to go further than that with like multiple lists. You can start to run into issues. This has been working out great for me. So I've got NetDuma's list of the ads and tracking, plus my custom dirty block, plus this uh, other block list. To add your own list, you just go down to the bottom and click Add List. It'll bring up a submenu where you can name the list. So we're going to name it Test because we're testing. You have some options here. Allow to ed editing, allow tracking. We're going to leave those on. Then we have an option to use a URL of a pre curated list, which is what I prefer, or you can set up your own text document with a list of domains. This is a little tedious and I don't recommend it, but I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So you pull up a notepad on your computer and you stick your domains in here. Now you'll notice you don't actually want spaces. You don't want any of the separation here. So the advertising.apple.com would actually go right into this API slash ad services Apple. So we, like that. Seems very counterintuitive. You have to, in my personal opinion, either set up one list you don't want to ever mess with again or copy that list and then go through and backspace each one of them. That way if there's something you accidentally put on there that you want allowed or whatever, it, don't do it this way. It's too much of a hassle. So we're not gonna. We're just gonna leave that alone and we're gonna use a pre-curated URL. And to do that, I'm gonna bring you to the biggest, best list there is on the internet. This guy's got multiple lists that you can use for your router and on a couple other sites. I'll talk about that at the very end that are pre-curated and they do a really good job. So if we scroll down a little bit, we have a table of contents and then there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. And to make things incredibly easy, we're going to stick with either multi-normal or the multi-pro lists. If you're unfamiliar with ad blocking and the fact that it can have false positives and you just don't want to mess with it, multi-normal is what we're going to go for. However, if you are more familiar with it, you've had it for a while and you trust it, nothing's being blocked that you don't want to, you can move on up to the multi-pro list, which is what I use, and it works great. Again, every network's going to be a little bit different. Maybe you are using some program or something that I just don't use, and ad blocker and one of these lists could interfere with that. So again, use caution. You can use your ad blocker uh, side list on the Duma OS dashboard itself to see what's going on. All right, so for this example, we're actually just going to click the multi-normal, and that's going to bring us down to a list of links that we can use. I will have all this just linked down below for you individually. That way, if you're like, I just want the list, where's the list? It'll be there for you. No worries. But the multi-normal list, all around protection. We call this a broom. It cleans the internet and protects your privacy, blocks ads, affiliates, tracking, metrics, telemetry, phishing, malware, scam sites, fake coins, and other 
stuff. And to use these lists, we actually need to come down to the wild card asterisk. The yoga, comma, nebulo, neb nebulo, whatever. And we're going to click this. Go ahead and right click. Oh, if I can right click today. Go ahead and open that up into a side page. It's going to say something about translation. We're not going to worry about that. Then we're going to take the list itself. We're going to copy that list. We're going to come over to our ad blocker. We're going to paste that URL right into the URL spot. And we are going to click save. Once saved, it'll do its thing. It'll pop up here. You're good to go. So now you have the basic added list. Again, I would start off with multi-normal, unless you're a little more familiar, then you can use the pro. I wouldn't go all the way to pro plus plus. There's a lot more information going on here that I'm not gonna dig through all of it for you. You can read through things yourself and figure out what list you think is going to work best. Again, normal should be fine for you. You shouldn't have to touch it. Pro should be just as good. Pro Plus is what I use. I haven't had any problems, but every network is going to be different. Take your time so you don't start breaking stuff. All right, the next list set that I want to point out is, uh, you know, we, we, the, the, the dirtier stuff. I've got a huge list that I found here. The one that I am currently using is number seven on this list. I have not tried all of them. I know that number seven is a little out of date, but it's got all the big ones on there. So if you got teenagers and you're like, I want that stuff, I don't want them to access it easy, at least, you know, as easy. I'm not saying they can't, just saying as easy. This is the list that I use. Again, I'll just have it linked down below for you. Same process, you copy this list. copy, bring it over, add a list, name it, paste it, save it, give it a second, and you're good to go. Now, once you've added these lists, if you want to go back to the ad block test, give it a little bit. The router needs some time to actually go through and curate. These lists are big. So it's, it's, it takes a little while for it to store everything, have it all completely updated. I wouldn't run the ad, this ad block test for an hour or two after doing it. Not to say that your ad blocking and other stuff isn't working, just give it time to settle in. And I, I don't know, I just, I tend to wait an hour and when it comes to this, I just come back and click it and make sure it's good. That's the way things have been. Um, heading back to the overall ad blocker list, of course we have allow lists as well. And I'm gonna leave this website Link down below for you. These are some common listed, white listed domains for things that are known to break on devices. We got things like Google Maps or YouTube history. Hey, I've had YouTube history break before. I'm on YouTube watching stuff all the time and it stinks when you're like, hey, I started that video and you go back to your history and it's not there because you were like, I wanted to finish that. You know, if you don't care about that kind of stuff, some of these block lists out there will block YouTube history and stuff out the gate, which again, if you don't care, I guess it doesn't matter. But for me, I definitely care. So I will have this link down below for you. It's got a whole bunch of stuff going on at Android, Apple, just different things. If you found something on your network that's broken, check this whitelist and see if it fixes your problem because most likely it's already been added to this whitelist, including... Xbox Live. Xbox Live is down here. Your achievements are down here. So some of these block lists that you can add will bl block things from Xbox that you don't want blocked. The list that ha Hexy, the list that I had you guys use, works fine. It won't block anything that's your Xbox or PlayStation related, in my experience. So that is it, everybody. That is how you set up your ad blocker and add more lists to your ad blocker for more functionality. This video was helpful. You know what to do. And until the next time, take it easy.